Hey guys, in this video, we'll be calculating the under over absorbed overhead. So what is under over absorbed overhead? Well, this simply means that the under over absorbed overhead that is calculated does that does not match the actual occurred overhead. So let's look at an example. So the company has budgeted production overhead of 70,000, budgeted activity level of 35,000 direct labor hours. Actual overhead cost 60,000 and the actual activity level is 35,000 direct labor hours. In order to begin, we need to calculate the overhead recovery rate, which can be simply calculated by budgeted overhead divided by budgeted activity level. So in this case, the budgeted overhead is 70,000 and the budgeted activity level is 35,000 direct labor hours. So you would take 70,000 divided by 35,000 to get an overhead recovery rate of $2 per direct labor hour. Next, we need to compare the actual overhead with the absorbed overhead. So the actual overhead is 60,000, which is right here. And in order to calculate the absorbed overhead, we would take the actual activity level of hours, which is 35,000 direct labor hours, and you multiply that by the $2 direct labor hour rate that we just got from the overhead recovery rate. To, to get a 35,000 times 2 to get a total of 70,000. So when we compare the actual over overhead of 60,000 with the 70,000 absorbed overhead, we, we see that the, we have over absorbed overhead of 10,000, which is simply calculated by taking 60,000 minus 70,000 gives 10,000. Now let's look in an example where we see under absorbed overhead. So this company has budgeted production overhead of 70,000, budgeted activity level of 35,000 direct labor hours, actual overhead cost of 70,000 and actual activity level of 30,000 30, direct labor hours. In order to begin, we need to calculate the overhead recovery rate, which can be calculated by taking budgeted overhead divided by budgeted activity level. So in this exercise, the budgeted overhead is 70,000 while the budgeted activity level is 35,000 direct labor hours. So we would take 70,000 divided by 35,000 to get a $2 per direct labor hour. Now we need to compare the actual overhead with the absorbed overhead to find out the under or over absorbed overhead. So in this case, the actual overhead is 70,000. So we'll put it down. And now we need to calculate the absorbed overhead, which can be calculated by taking the actual activity level uh, hours which is 30,000 direct labor hours and you multiply that by the $2 overhead recovery rate we just calculated. So 30,000 times 2 it gives a total of 60,000 absorbed overhead. So in this case we see the actual overhead is 70,000 while the absorbed overhead is 60,000. This means we are we have under absorbed the overhead which is calculated by taking 70,000 minus 60,000 gives 10,000 direct 10,000 under absorbed overhead. So this exercise is complete now. Thank you guys for watching my video. Like my video, leave your comment and subscribe to my channel.